Hey guys, this is Daniel Rosal here and I'm here outside the Damascus Gate. I was filming some videos today. There was this major clash expected here between the right-wing supporters of uh, Ben Gvir, who's a right-wing Israeli politician, and Palestinians who come to Damascus Gate after their Ramadan prayers. Fortunately, nothing uh, too serious happened, uh, but one thing I love about going to, firstly, news events, it's very hard for me as a news junkie to resist, especially when they're in my city, but seeing the camcorder is amazing. I had a really good chat just now with a local uh, stringer for uh, RT. He showed me his ENG camera. Uh, compared to this uh, uh, Canon XA40, incredible gear, but it does weigh a ton. It's actually my first time ever lifting up one of those, but just to do a little video, I thought I'd show you guys the kit that the journalists here are using. These are some of the bigger ones I think I see these things a lot these are live view these are these um, live mobile broadcasting ca uh, cameras I've actually talked a lot about that it's a weird place where my interest in camcorders really good backup internet uh, intersect because these are used basically it's called connection bonding when you're doing a live broadcast from somewhere where you know you don't want to lose your uh, your 4g connectivity so what these little things do these 4g packs is they'll basically tether together um, a bunch of different connection sources and they'll use like you know four or five different like serious serious stuff 4g 5g networks whatever is available um, this is the media here now you can see a lot of people doing uh, they just have their kind of tripod set up ready to go um, if I zoom in a little bit you can see a guy doing a, a voice to camera I did see um, one lone wolf camera operator I've never seen it before he had his uh, tripod out and he had a reporter's microphone like that like the sure PJ48 that I had and uh, he just had the tripod here his big ENG camera sitting on the tripod um, and then running just an XLR cable so completely one-man band he didn't even have a camera up so uh, I did one of those myself so yeah this is great I'm really enjoying since upgrading to uh, the pro camcorder lifestyle um, I've unexpectedly found that when I go to events like this everyone's got the same cameras as me which is super cool because I'm kind of studying them you can see actually another guy here um, shooting from up there this guy has a press jacket I don't know really I mean I guess the thing about these situations is that they're very volatile one moment is calm and the next kind of you know all sort of craziness has broken loose um, but you see you'll see wire agencies here you'll see uh, stations and you'll hear a lot of Arabic stations as well and this is kind of where the where the press station themselves because it's kind of hard to predict here's another guy here and he's got a one of those backpacks so you just literally carry it around on your back so it's funny you have Israeli media you have can you have foreign media that was where I was just now you have wire agencies and everyone's kind of working together here so this is where a lot of people were jostling for space earlier there's a big view here looking over Damascus gate and now now fortunately things look to have kind of calmed down so I'm gonna make my way back and resume uh, normal life so uh, I hope this video was good um, I definitely as a resident of Jerusalem I'm not you know I, I did come here because I knew there was a chance of something happening but I equally don't want something to happen I'm just having to dodge out of the road because there's undercover police cars uh, one coming right behind me there um, so yeah it was uh, fortunately I think given that this could have been a very very serious escalation uh, where you know this is probably about as mild as it could have been and I uh, just wanted to show you guys some of the camcorders ENG camcorders which I've said before electronic news gathering it's kind of the really top end of the camcorder market those really beefy things that the news guys uh, bring out but also saw a lot of people with actually camcorders only about the size of the Canon XA40 or kind of more compact so it looks to me not working in the news uh, industry or broadcast journalism it looks to me as if the uh, the, the, the market is actually sort of going uh, in the direction away from these really really big heavy shoulder mount things and towards the more compact camcorders. Anyway, thank you guys for watching another video on my YouTube channel. If you want to get more of them, uh, subscribe to me.